All right, any other questions before I say shit I shouldn't say? You know, the thing with him is... He was intense on the platform and in training. Whenever I saw him outside, he was the nicest, calmest guy in the world. Yeah, the, the thing that people always misunderstood about him, and I've probably been asked more about him than anybody else in all the years I've been doing seminars, is they see the intensity you know, on the platform. And yes, he, he had intensity on the platform, but one, that was also a curse. Because in all the meets that I helped him at, man, it was, it was fucking, I was exhausted just trying to keep him down. You know, because he'd get so hyped up, he'd fuck his squad up. He'd fall over in the bottom, and it's just like, dude, settle the fuck down. You know, we couldn't get him to settle down, because what you saw externally was nothing compared to what was going on internally. So it was externally, I wasn't concerned with that. It was the internal shit that was through the roof. But what people don't know that I wish they would take away from this is, or we, from him, he was always the first person in the gym setting everything up. So when we got there, shit, if it was floor press or whatever it was, it was set up, shit was cleaned up. He was always the last person to leave. He always made sure all the weights were put away and everything was cleaned up. He was very fucking anal about this. He would be on everybody's shit if they didn't put stuff away. So he had probably as much respect as people have for him as a lifter. He had more respect for the weights in the gym and the bars and all the shit in the gym than anybody could ever have for him. And so back, you know, 20 years ago when everybody was trying to em emulate him with their beanie hats and stupid cocky fucking attitudes and all this other bullshit, I used to always ask him, well, are you putting your fucking weights away? Polo shirt with the yeah, collar up. Exactly. You know, so they always wanted to be like him, but yet they weren't putting the weights away. They weren't getting there early. They weren't making sure everything was being taken care of. They weren't making sure all the other guys in the gym, you know, were being coached or And they certainly couldn't out. lift as much. Yes, not at all, not at all. So he was a great training partner. You know, he, Louis did a very good, and he was with Louis for a very, very long time. He's still there now, I believe once a week. But as I said before, Louis ingrained in us, it's our responsibility to make everybody else better. So he's got probably one of the best eyes as far as picking somebody's technique apart. And it's, it's fucked up because it's a very rare skill set that we all kind of walked away with because it really only pertains to like the top 10 or 15 percent lifters. I can look at any top lifter and find out what their issue is. I'm, he can as well. But you give me a bunch of beginners, I'm like, fuck. You know, I, I, I'm not looking at those things. Like I'm not looking at things that a beginner would need help with because I don't work with them. You know, I'm, I'm looking at these really detail oriented type of stuff and I really get thrown off sometimes where, you know, it's good as long as I, I know it, you know, so my ego doesn't get in the way of that where I'll bring somebody else in and say, look, help them because I can't do this. And from a coaching perspective, I guess I'll put that out there as well. If you get stuck and you're trying to help somebody, have somebody else come over and help. It's, get another eye. Yeah, I, I did it today when I pulled Ed over with, where, with, with you. You know, my cues weren't working. It's, it's not a failure on my part. It'd be a failure on my part to keep forcing it. And then to try I to tried, make it work. and then we both worked together. Yeah, you know, so it worked. I mean, so you're, you're a tough cookie to crack. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but yeah, that's but not was, saying. Yeah, that's, but but did it get better at the end? Yes. When you got your chest up, all of a sudden the weight started to fly. You just got to do more reps like that. You know, so as coaches, you got to understand. Sometimes you don't know all the answers. So it's okay to have somebody else help. It's okay to delegate it out because ultimately. You know, if, if it's just your business, the person's going to remember the person who delegated it out because they cared the most. They're not really going to remember the person who actually fixed it because they just brought in. Now, you work together like we did there, then it's, you know, a different thing as well. You find a way.